definitely not gonna be able to make this whole whole wall for night time. So that's gonna be interesting. See me trying to hold off here. Shut up. Yep, getting night time. Um yeah, so we're definitely working on uh, the internet connection because now when I'm trying just to just upload a freaking file that's like 600 meg or something, it takes me, I don't know, it takes me roughly like two, two hours or something, and I can't, I can't be working with that because that's just going to be driving me freaking insane. Uh, no more cobble, cobble, I get loads of cobble. All right, they're gonna. Damn it! Well, the title of this is Noob's Epic Adventure, and uh, it definitely is because I'm a freaking noob at this game. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, this is gonna be gnarly, dude. Um, I'm just trying to so nothing can freaking spawn us inside. Probably too late for that. Unless you cut the corner, and it's gonna be a creeper there. <sighs> Dang it! Yeah, so the living situation for me um, has fixed, so I'm super duper happy about that. And uh, like a little bit of stress stress factors been lifted, so that's kind of nice actually. It's freaking desert, or oh, the amount of freaking mobs that spawn at the deserts. Loads of it. I want to save that, so maybe build something else. Definitely need to keep up. Build the wall around that. Oh, I see you, Skeletor. Ow! Was it him? Yeah. Uh, where's my torch? There's go. Yeah. So basically, uh, what I was want to talk about is a little bit personal uh, from my side. Is me growing up. Um, yeah, we can do a couple of bow meals. Never know where we're gonna hurry up and grow. Dude, get the fuck in! What are you standing out here for? You're freaking stupid, witches! Oh my god! Go inside! I freaking run out here! Morons! Oh, dude, you scared the crap out of me! Look at those creepers, spiders! Oh my god! Oh, let's get busy trying to build this as quick as possible. Do you have anything to? I should take gravel. Oh, damn, I hate this dude. I really hate this. Let's be a couple of blocks high. Spider's still gonna be able to rape me, but we might, might, might. Little chicken can get go get that later on. Um. Yeah, me growing up, um, I was absent my father. Oh, damn it. Where are you? Oh, he scared the crap out of me. There he is. <coughs> Shut up. Yeah, so it's just me, my mother, and uh, my big sister and big brother uh, growing up. Um, my father was a bit of a, a drunk, you can say. And um, I do have memories from from the time I was I stayed there or lived with him. Um, maybe not the best ones, but I still have it. And um, I think I stayed with my father until I was. The last time I spoke with him, I think was when I was. Let's bit one higher. Um, 
I was graduating from, uh, and I think it's high school. No, it's not high school. Uh, like college. I think you say college. Yeah. So I was graduating from that, and he was supposed to come and see see me off and see me run out uh, in Sweden. Uh, it's called gymnasium. I think yeah, it might be in e America or England as well. Um, but that was the last time he let me down, actually. And um, that was also the last time I spoke to him for a couple of months. Oh, months, a couple of years. I'm saying months. So... It was just my mother. and I mean, I'm going to give all the credit for, to my mother. Because she was raising three kids by herself. And I almost lost her as well in a car accident when I was like nine, I think. Um, she broke her pelvis on six different places and uh, cracked her head up. And uh, she'd ha she had uh, six, like how long can it be? two decimeters like s titanium screws uh, screwed into her pelvis and then she had like a steel frame to like stabilize the whole thing and I was I was in sixth grade so I think I was like 10 years old when that happened and I remember it so so clearly because my brother was living at home at the moment and he came up to me, I was in school, and um, came home, um, the phone call and everything, and I mean, you know how big, dude, come on, knock it off, you know how big brothers are, it's like, you're not allowed to go down to your big, he was living in the basement, uh, that was his place to stay, or like shack, his own, his own, how do you say, you can call it like his own, this is his own space. That was his, and I was never allowed to go down there uh, since I was the kid, uh, the little brother. But for some reason, he let's put the entrance here, shouldn't we? Yeah. For some reason, he allowed me to come down and. Oh damn you! Fuck you! Yeah, you. Fuck you. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Almost. Is that a villager in there or is this... Oh, never mind. If they die, they die. Oh, another freaking creeper. Oh, I should have gone on the nine time over here and then build on the daytime. Never mind. Where were I? Uh, yeah. So, he came up. I was in my room playing. Um, and he came up and he told me like do you want to come down and watch a movie and I was like really I was like expecting him to beat me up or something <laughs> and try to lure me down and then kick my ass or something but yeah so then he he told me that my mother was at hospital and um, I mean I think he because he's almost 10 years well almost 10 years older than me so he definitely knew what was going on and I need to get props for him as well because he hold it together really good um, trying to explain for me what had happened to, my, to our mother um, but yeah she was nearly yeah okay anyway getting off topic my dad the jackass of a lifetime um, the only memory I actually have I don't know if it's, if it's sad or not, but the only memory I have of him is, and actually, I mean, this might sound a bit odd, but I should have built a freaking shovel. Yeah, uh, so my good memory from spending time with my dad was actually him driving and drinking at the same time. 
And I know how this can sound for someone. Oh, there's something up there. Um, but oh, let, let me ask a little burn. He always when when he picked me up or uh, he didn't he didn't of course show uh, show my mother that he was drinking while driving with me and I actually didn't tell her as well but he used to like go from one side to another side on the road and I thought that was a blast I was like laughing the whole way through and it's kind of sad now when I when I think back and that that was a good memory him <laughs> driving and drinking at the same time how how can that be a good memory but I guess when something is really bad you need to take the good of it or if you can say that and what I was gonna say because I know that I got a couple of young people watching my stuff and I don't know what I'm I don't know what exactly I want to say with this more than be fucking happy with what you have because my dad died at 2009 and without getting emotional or whatever um, I didn't have time to say goodbye actually so what the fuck oh my hand is oh there we go yeah so I didn't have time to say goodbye to someone that I hated but at the same time I didn't hate my father I I despised him maybe is the right word and I have a other big brother, he's even more, I think he's, I think, I should know how old my brother is, he's 43, I'm 29, and 